Hey everybody, I just wanted to kind of hit base with everybody and um, kind of let you know of adventures I'm going to go on this year and I'm pretty excited about it and so let's get to it. <laughs> okay, uh, I wanted to say uh, 2020 was uh, the 50th high school reunion for my class of 1970 and Probably around 2018, 2019, uh, some of the girls that have planned uh, our reunions asked if we wanted to have a 50th. And a lot of us agreed, yes, we want to have a 50th high school reunion. So we got the venues. Uh, a lot of us paid for the venues already. We got a two night, a Friday night. Um, like uh, wine and little little hors d'oeuvres and just kind of meet with everybody. And then the next day we have a picnic, uh, barbecue like that. And we stay at the park all day, we get our pictures. And so it's a lot of fun. Said we were gonna have our high school reunion. I started planning for this trip. Now, I, I don't have like everything planned yet because it's still in the making. But my whole thing was, I'll go to the high school reunion, do some road trips, uh, drive to uh, Iowa, and then to Nebraska. I have a grandson in Iowa. I have my granddaughter and my grandson, granddaughter, great-granddaughter in Nebraska. And then, you know, go up to Michigan. I have uh, my best friend's sister, and her husband has a restaurant up there. She's invited me to come, you know, when she knew I was coming back two years ago. <laughs> she uh, said, oh, you should come up here. And it's about an hour and maybe an hour and a half from my sister's house. That would be like a little road trip. <clears throat> and then um, the last week that I'm going to be in Indiana, my baby sister, she's the only one working out of us girls still so she's going to come the last week and we we have a high um high school <laughs> family reunion of the mayfield and burdette which is my my dad and his stepdad's side reunion and after that me uh, probably me and my baby sister mainly uh will go grave hunting and genealogy uh searching you know we'll be going to courthouses because southern indiana is pretty much where my ancestors have lived for a long time some moved up north a little bit but basically in southern indiana that's where i could find the history of my my family my people i guess we call it but um yeah so i i plan on showing you you know what i'm going to take because i decided i'm going to stay for pretty much almost a month i don't work I thought, why not, you know, make this an adventure of a lifetime, <laughs> pretty much. Because uh, all of us uh, high school kids, we're in our 70s now. This year, we'll pretty much all of us will be 70. And, you know, we don't know if we'll have another high school reunion. I'm also, uh, you know, going to get some antiquing in because I love to antique back home because it's, it's an old state. And they have find some good finds there, if you really look. And we like doing that. Uh, yard selling. I'll, I'll be visiting uh, m my sister one and two that live there and have lived there all their life. Their uh, extended family lives there. And I always try to see both of my sisters, their kids and grandkids and great-grandkids. You know, we all got great-grandbabies now. So I do try to see... Uh, as many as I can, but you know, it's a lot of uh, traveling, you know, you got jet lag because, you know, it's a different time frame. Uh, the weather there is unpredictable, you know, so I have to kind of dress for being cold. I've been there in August and it's been freezing cold. I mean, so cold, you had to have like a winter coat on. Uh, it, I've seen snow in May. So, and pretty much about every time I fly home, knock on wood, but just about every time when I come back, I'm delayed because of a rainstorm. So you have that. You have a lot of different weather uh, conditions. But one thing about back home, 
everybody is kind of laid back and they're, you know, t-shirts and shorts or tank top and shorts. Nothing really fancy. Uh, so I don't have to, you know, dress up well, unless I want to, you know. I wear dresses and stuff like that. So I may wear dresses or my shorts, but I thought this would be a great little, I guess a good way to start my vlog by uh, I've been wanting to start a vlog because I love talking. <laughs> and I thought this would be a good way to show me preparing for this. Uh, you know, if I buy anything for my trip. Because like I said, I'm going to be there for a month. I don't work. My two older sisters don't work. And, you know, I said, why not? You know, I don't know. You never know what could happen. So I don't know when I would be able to do this again. Uh, the last time me and my baby sister, we flew to uh, Kansas. We seen my brother's uh, kid, two daughters, and we seen, you know, his grandbaby. My brother's no longer with us, so it was nice to go see his children. Then we went up to Nebraska. We seen uh, my grandkids, you know, a nice adventure then driving. And uh, well, I think that time we flew back out of Kansas, I believe, because Kansas was a cheaper flight. But this time we're flying into Chicago, where I am. I fly into Chicago, uh, like I said. Then two days later, I have my high school reunion. And in the next first two weeks of August, I'll be, you know, going on these road trips until my baby sister gets there. And then we'll go to the family reunion. And I can't wait. I mean, last year, not last year, last time we were home for a family reunion, me and my uh, baby sister, we went grave hunting. And I'll have to, that's another story. I'll have put just a video of my graveyard experiences. But we ended up finding my third great grandpa and grandma. And so a lot of his children were buried there with their wives. So it was a trove of information that we got. And it was just to me, when I say I go grave hunting, people are like, grave hunting? What are you growing? Grave hunting? What's this? <laughs> but when I stand at a tombstone or a grave site for my ancestors, uh, like my third great grandma and grandpa, <laughs> it touches me now. But uh, it's emotional because I know when they were put in the ground, my ancestors were here when they were buried and they were standing right there. And so I, I feel their spirits and their presence. It's just... To me, so powerful. Powerful. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's important that we honor our ancestors because without our ancestors, we would not be here. And we may complain and cry about our life, but when you look at your ancestors, you know, a lot of ancestors, they didn't have much, but they struggled and they survived long enough to, to get to me. So I appreciate that, all the hard work they did, all the suffering they may have done uh you know so it's very emotional for me it's very uh fulfilling to go and search for my ancestors and to find them in a history book in the library or in a census or you know there's a story written about them because they were you know my family my people on both sides of my mom and dad uh you have to go almost like 200 years to get out of indiana before uh they're not there so they've got a lot of history you know they got two plus years right there in Indiana. You just got to find it. That's the only thing. And that's the fun of it, trying to research it and find it. So I'm really excited about that. Me and my sister, mainly my baby sister, my two older sisters, they listen to the stories. They like to, you know, I get copies for them. So we have a little book. We all put our little copies in our book. So everybody has the same information at least. And they're not really interested in going around graveyards. I mean, they'll go with us because they want to be with us and they'll sit in the car, which which is fine, you know. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing my grandbabies, my daughter, you know. Oh, they're not babies anymore. My grandson, what, he's going to be almost 30, you know, or he is 30. I don't know. I lose track of their ages because to me, they're still little babies, you know. But they're not babies. My great-granddaughter is like going to be seven this year. So there's no babies there. <laughs> but, you know, uh, my daughter, she has a kayak business in Nebraska. And uh, so we may go over there. She has inner tubes and I could probably get on an inner tube. I don't think I could do a kayak or anything like that. Uh, she's got paddle boats. And so it's nice. 
nice, you know. The only thing I don't like about going back home is the bugs, the mosquitoes at night. And no matter what I do, it seems like right before I come home, they just tear me up and I get, I have bites all over my legs or... <laughs> So I, I always try to make potions with my aromatherapy and it's good to take a bath in it But I don't really take baths anymore because I'm big now my bathtub is like too little for me So I have to incorporate other ways to get this uh, bug deterrent on me So it absorbs into my skin and then usually I make a spray and I spray it constantly Especially around my ankles and stuff because the bugs out there are just not used to them anymore You know, they want to they're like fresh meat and they tear my legs up. So <laughs> That's pretty much where I stand with that. But I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I'm excited about, and a little nervous about flying because I haven't flown uh, pretty much since the pandemic. So I'm kind of a little nervous about this, but I take all the precautions. I'm vaccinated. I got, a, you know, the booster. I may need to get another booster. And I try to keep my immune system up. So far, knock on wood, the virus hasn't got me and hopefully it won't. So there's that. Just going back home, like I said, it's kind of laid back. My sister has this uh, deck that her husband has built over the years and refined it and it's, it's just so nice. They, they live like on an acre of land. Now there's not, it's not like they're out in the country, but the houses are farther apart from each other and you could sit out there in the morning, drink coffee, you may see deer in the back of her yard passing through, you know, they throw stuff out there uh, for the deer but um, it's just so relaxing to sit out there and you know, of course there's greenery, there's trees around and to sit there and have the wind you know kind of blow the trees so it's really uh relaxing and even if we don't do anything and just kind of sit there on the deck and just enjoy each other's companies now there's four of us girls okay i got my two older sisters that are five or six years older than me and i got my baby sister who's three years under me so me and my baby sister have always been you know kind of close because we're closer in age and my two older sisters have been closer in. and of course then when you get us all together they still consider themselves the big sisters and they always want to tell us what to do even though we're old as uh dust <laughs> ourselves so we do have those little little cat fights you know but I think all sisters kind of do that. And one thing about us is that we may snap at each other because, you know, we're tired or tension or, you know, we're hungry, whatever it is, you know. And we, we kind of snap at each other and get on each other's nerves. But we can kind of back away and, you know, say, hey, you know, I'm sorry I snapped at you. I was just going through something. And, you know, we could kind of play it off. It's not like we stay upset with each other forever. But... I think I'm getting a little long breath in the breath here, or how do they say it? Long breath. With that, I think I'm just gonna finish this and uh, there'll be plenty more videos coming up of my little venture. And um, yeah, so it should be fun and exciting. So if you like my video, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. I always appreciate a subscription. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know, that notifies me or notifies you if I put up another video and I'm trying to get videos more often. It's just a lot of things going on. Now well, that's the way it is. So until next time, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. Cut.